this is his office, he owns the entire building, and from here runs an empire that has made him the richest man in the kingdom. So this is the entrance to the kingdom tower. Can't really see much from the car. It's a staggering building, though. When demand for frankincense was at its height, those trading it became immensely wealthy. Today, I'm meeting a modern-day equivalent, but instead of trading frankincense, he's trading on the stock market. One of the big problems about getting this invitation, which is great to meet Saudi's richest and one of the most influential men in the world, but what do you bring him as a gift? So do you think this is going to be all right as a gift? It's got, it's got frankincense inside it. Ears popping. Thank you. Hello. I am fine, thank you very much. It's an amazing building, but an even more Thanks. amazing office. Yeah, it is actually. And my name's Kate. Renium for protocol. Very nice to meet you. Very, very nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. Please have a seat. Okay, thank you. I suddenly feel quite overwhelmed and incredibly frumpy. How unfair is that to be met by a woman not wearing a great big black sack, but a tiny little pencil skirt and perfect heels and enormous amounts of makeup? This is the man. And he owns large chunks of all those companies. And even me, with my minimal business brain, has heard of most of those. I'm from the Corporate Communications Department. I'm the deputy to. Very the nice to meet you. you. Very well. I'm Welcome. feeling I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. I have to say. Yes, yes, that's how I felt <laughs> when I first really? came here. But every morning as well. And well, it's, it's it, it, everything. Yes. The scale of everything, but also all of you are so glamorous, and I'm feeling a little bit kind of underdressed. Well, you can take your eye off if can you I? like. Yes. And yes. is there a proper form of address? Do I need to call him Your Royal Highness? Or? Of course, of course. I mean, he is. He, his title is His Royal Highness Prince okay. Edward so, Okay. Yeah. I mean, he sounds, from what I've read, he sounds absolutely fascinating, but quite scary. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to be scared. <laughs> and finally, I meet His Royal Highness Prince Al Walid bin Talal. Gosh, there's more cameras in here than there are outside. Hello. This is Kate Humble. Your Royal Highness, very nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you very much. My every action is being recorded by Prince Al Walid's personal TV crew, which documents every minute of his public life. Um, can I, can I, before we start, can I give you this? Yes, thank you. Inside there is some frankincense that we collected in Oman. Thank you. Oman, huh? I believe. Every month, the prince meets with local tribal leaders and their subjects in a traditional event called a marginis. As a welcome, each of the high-ranking guests is bathed in frankincense. They trap its sweet perfume in their clothing. Close to a thousand tribesmen wait patiently in the background. There's no social security in Saudi Arabia, so it's custom for Arab leaders to give money to their people. Tonight, the prince will give away many hundreds of thousands of dollars of his personal fortune. This is very unique to, to the Gulf region mm -hmm. and even more unique to Saudi Arabia. Okay. This tradition has been going on for, I would say, really since a uh, long, 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 long time. Okay. It's part of the interaction between the members of the royal family and their subjects. Right. It's not obligatory, but uh, I like to do it because it's part of my culture, part of me uh, living uh, in, in, the, in the Saudi society. 
These tribesmen come from the region directly surrounding the Prince's Desert Retreat. Some come just for themselves, some represent their entire family. Each has written his plea down on paper. So you've had requests for helping to pay a lease on a house? Yes, for, this, for example, this guy says I have a lot of people and I want some money. He hits a big family and yes, he, he needs help to help people. support. Uh, okay. yeah. The prince's personal assistant, Nala, is vetting requests. This is his first time to, to submit a request to his highness. And his, his request, he, he doesn't have any, any job. So his, his request is only asking for a car. Do you have any idea how much money you've given away? Oh, yeah. Tens how of many? thousands. Of Tens of thousands yeah. of cars? And uh, billions of dollars. Wow. Is he very happy? <laughs> no, he said that my car, uh, I need the car. He was saying, he, said he was saying, reiterating his request. Yeah, emphasizing it. Yeah. Actually, overemphasizing it. <laughs> but he won't get penalized for that. He'll no, still never, get his car. Never. Okay. This has been going 25 years now. It's really uh, Islam in practice. So is there a concept of, of heaven that you go to a to a, a special place if you... No. I mean, I mean this is, a, I mean, some people in the extreme Islam, they talk about these things, you know. I mean, a person does his duty and responsibility in the world, whether he's Muslim, Christian or Jewish, and then God decides where to put him. With requests still coming thick and fast, I leave the prince to it. Tomorrow, I head south to rejoin the frankincense trail. Today, Walid has guests, a thousand of them. Simple peasants that need help, tribal chiefs, priests, and even military officers have asked to see him. The most important of these will dine with him. It's very important to keep the culture. And here in Saudi Arabia, we, are, uh, we have a very important culture, Islamic culture. And this culture has been there since more than 1,000 years. And it's very important to keep it and maintain it, yet be incorporated into the national community, yet be incorporated into the, glo into the globalization process yet be incorporated into the, into, the uh, into the modernization process. We are balancing between Islamic traditions that are very important, yet you have to modernize and enter the 21st century. We have to have our voice heard, because some people at the right, who are really extremists, just scream, shout with high voices. We will not scream and shout. We will fight them with reason and logic. Yes, as you know, in City Group, in, in, in New Scope now, yes, we have, uh, we have around a billion dollars. We have now six channels, uh, sorry, we have seven channels. A big part of uh, our wealth last year was increased because our investment in the uh, in Middle East, Far East and Africa, industrial projects. Uh, in the intimate media, uh, hospitality and hotels, uh, 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 banking, through our bank for example, for the last five years. Walid is a member of the royal family. His father, the brother of the present king, was the black sheep of the Saud. He had socialist ideas and spoke in favour of democracy.